So for this video, we're we're actually gonna take a look at the machine operator's view, right? So we're kind of doing a complete overhaul on this. In the previous videos, we talked about linking. We talked about um, having statuses on the bottom, so supervisors kind of know where everything is at. Operators do too. But now we we want to dig into actually what their page looks like when they when they click it. So. Hold on a second here. So what we're what we're actually going to eliminate is this entire page, this whole job info. We're we're we can keep it here. We can get rid of it. Um, it's okay, actually. I don't mind if we keep it here. That's that's fine. But they're never going to open it. Um, they're never ever going to open this 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 page. Everything's going to come here. So. We'll go step by step right now. I also have a a page I think that I can or an email that I could send digitally that'll maybe clarify this even more. I don't think it will. This is probably as clear as we can get it. But the very first thing we're gonna have is instead of having rewinder instructions right here, verify diameter, we're gonna take that off, right, and we're gonna replace it with um, customer name, order number, and job number. So it's down here. So we're gonna customer name right here, order number, and we're not gonna have this. We're gonna pull the job number here. So this information plus this, we want instead of this. All right, so that's the first thing. Um, the outputs look great. Don't change a thing. Everything's good here. Everything's perfect right here. Um, so what we want now, and it's creating a little confusion for our guys, is when we do... So everything from here is perfect. Well, from here. Well, actually, excuse me, excuse me. Right here is perfect right up like that this is all perfect but from here we want to add something what we're looking to add is a finished inventory table for finished outputs to stock so right now you've got the drop roll table this is great this is really good but we we want to have it the same way this looks how it says outputs and it's bold, and this is the gray writing. We want a break here, and it's gonna say, bold in title, how it looks on the outputs. It's gonna change from um, added drop rolls below, which I believe this is the drop roll. It's gonna say, um, add drop rolls or finished inventory below. So it actually doesn't do it here, but in here you can see it does, right? So you just didn't have the black typing here, but we're going to add to it anyway. So we're going to have a break. It's going to say again, add drop rolls or finished inventory below, right here. Then you're going to have two tables. So the one table is obviously going to be your drop roll. It's going to say this exact same thing, maybe master roll output or drop roll output, however you want to say it. And there's going to be another table similar to this that's gonna have your finished inventory, right? So the gray writing there would say um, um, uh, finished inventory. Finished inventory, yeah, that's all it's gonna say. Or, or finished um, outputs to stock. Actually, I like that better. Finished outputs to stock. Excuse me, I have it written down there. Hard to read it and do this at the same time. So the black bold title that you kinda had here See how these two are? We're just going to move them up. But the difference is that the title is going to be um, add drop rolls or finish inventory below. And then actually in smaller gray font, kind of how this one is, right? You're going to have, right up with the page break, you're going to put update roll quantities, outside roll diameter, or sheet height, right? So you're gonna have that in the gray writing. 
So one more time, just to try to make it clear. A big bold thing like this. You're gonna have a page break here, not a page break, but a, a separation here, similar to what you have down here. And it's gonna say um, in black, in, in black bold, it's gonna say add drop rolls or finished inventory below. And then in the gray, smaller font, similar to this, right next to it, right? Right next to it, it's gonna say um, update roll quantities, outside roll diameter, um, or sheet height. So that's for that. And then the third, well, then obviously we're going to need the um, another table for the finished outputs, finished inventory outputs. Right now we've got master rolls, but we want finished inventory down here. We're creating some confusion when we put it in the finished table. Guys get a little confused. We're just trying to make it easier for them and easier for the production planning. Then number three, we're going to have special instructions exactly how we have it here. Number four, we're going to move the inputs, the roll inventory. Um, well, it's actually this whole page right here. All of this. Gosh dang it. I don't think you guys get it. Just number two. So all of this is going to move below the special instructions. We want it right below the special instructions. And then at the bottom of the page, it's gonna re rename the, or remain the same. So you're still gonna have job status. I mean, you're still gonna have all this. You're gonna be able to submit. I'm already in this job, so I can't do it, or it's already in progress, but um, this bottom part's not gonna change. So number one, and actually, if you could label, like put number one on this, this would be great. Number one would be outputs. Number two, would be this section here, which would be the added and dropped rolls and or finished inventory below. And then number three would special instructions. Number four is the inputs, which are all of these inputs. See how you have the number here? Just put those numbers up there. Number four, you have the, the inputs. And number five, it's just the progress. All right, and then we can eliminate this page entirely. Uh, we might want to just keep it just for you know a few until we get this absolutely perfect. Then we can eliminate it. But eventually, we're going to go the route of eliminating this page, um, the job info page. All right, that's going to make a huge difference when we're actually training our guys. I mean, there's only five steps you got to do, and it's as simple as can possibly be. They don't have to check the check really against any orders. They just look at instructions, and it's what we've all decided. Took us a long time to actually decide, but we've uh, we've come up with that. All right.